Welcome to Sunday, the 22nd of September 2024 tips. Let's do a quick review of yesterday's results. Um, yesterday I had 24 selections, one of them was scratched. Most of them did not fall under the odds that we were hoping to get. So in the end, we only had um, six that fell to the odds that we wanted, making on a $30 liability $1.25. Um, on a $3,000 liability, you'd be looking at 125 Now, if we have a quick look, had you ignored the odds, you would have made $3.05, so about 10% on that liability, um, which isn't too bad, which takes our total tips now up to 420 um, 230 of those have met the odds. Our running total where you stick to the odds is now $32.58. And we are up to $65.14 had you just ignored the odds, which seems to be the better case at the moment. But we'll see how we keep going and get up to around a 1,000 lays and, and see how we're going there. So let's get into today's selections. Um, I've got a few today. Uh, I think there's about 17. The two which I could not find a selection at were Flemington and 2J. So I will get rid of those two meetings because there was nothing there. And we can have a quick look at what I had. So the first place is Nara. So I've got race two, number eight. Um, the horse isn't running well enough to beat the other horses in this race, so willing to risk that one up to $50. Uh, in race four, we have two numbers. We have number five and number nine. So number five has not been closer than 20 lengths in any of its runs, um, so I'm willing to risk that up to the $1,000 odds. And for number nine, it's had nine starts, zero placings. I don't rate the jockey against the other jockeys in this race. So I don't think the jockey is going to make much of a difference. So I'm willing to go up to $200. Then we've got Nara race five, number 10. It needs more distance. Um, 1,200 meters is way too short for this horse. So I'm willing to go up to the $300 mark. Then we jump over to Armadale just for one race. Um, race one, number eight. It's had four starts and it's came last every single time. It hasn't beaten a horse yet. Um, I think it's like lost to 38 horses, something like that. Uh, so I'm willing to go with that one up to a thousand. Any odds, it's come last every time. Don't expect it to do anything different. Then we've got Warwick, um, race two, number 17. It's failed in seven starts so far, and I'm willing to go up to $400 in the odds. Then we jump to Mount Gambia, where there's a few more races. So we have a bit more of um, some selections here. We've got race one, numbers four and five. Number four has only ever beaten one horse in three races, so willing to risk up to 100. And number five has had enough chances. It's tried many, many different distances. It's not doing anything anywhere. It's, it's probably just not a race horse, um, but the owners and trainer keeps running it around. So I'm willing to go up to $100 on that one. Race two at Mount Gambia, number 16. The distance is too long for it. This is just a fitness run. Um, we'll go with up to the odds of 350. Uh, Mount Gambia race three, number 11. It is the wrong distance. Again, it's only got one win from 51 starts. I'm willing to take that one up to the 1,000. There wasn't much that you would expect could um, that it could do based on its form. And then race four, number 13, is definitely a fitness run. I think it's a pretty short race. The horse normally runs, runs up around the two and a half kilometers to 3,000 meters. So I'm willing to take that one up to 1,000 in the odds as well. Then we jump over to Kalgoorlie, race one. Um, I've got number seven and nine. Now number seven, it's raced against a lot of these horses before i think about six or seven of them um it's only beaten one of them i believe 
Um, so I don't expect it to do much. It hasn't got any form at the moment, so I expect it to just fall behind and, and stay at the back. Up to 120. Then I've got number nine, same race, Kalgoorlie race one, number nine. Um, up to the $1,000 odds, so I don't think it can win at all. It's lost by five lengths over a 400 meter trial earlier this year, I believe it was, um, which means it's got no speed at all. 400 meters is not very far. It's pretty much the length of a straight. And to lose by five lengths in that kind of distance is not good. And this is a 1200 meter race. So I don't think it's it's got much chance. Then we jump over to Devonport, race one, number two. It's not done very well since its spell. Um, it raced okay before its spell, but since then it's got like double digit losses. So I'm willing to go up to $150 in the odds. And then over to Bansdale, race two, number 16, um, has not beaten even one horse this year. It's been last every single race that it's been in this year. Um, so I expect it to be last again, up to a thousand dollar on the odds for that one. Race three, number ten at Bansdale, I'm willing to go up to a hundred dollars. It's likely to be at the back of the field and struggle to run on. There's a chance if it gets to the front, might try to hold it, but I'm um, I have put it in the speed map towards the back of the field. So if it it does land in the back of the field, I don't see it going anywhere. And Bansdale race four, number 15, um, up to the $1,000 odds, risk it at any odds. Um, just doesn't have the speed for a 1,200 meter race. It's going to lose um, to the horses, which are more adept at that distance. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will leave it there. Again, if you are following these, um, try to get on the exchange, try to get on at BSP. You can get money on. I'm putting money on all of these every race. Um, I'm generally putting a certain amount on it at any odds and then trying to get matched at the odds I want or lower on the exchange and with a BSP limit. So I'm kind of doubling up what I'm doing here um, and just splitting my stake um, accordingly. But if you do follow... Hopefully we get another successful day without a another um, winner come in against us. So we've still only had the one out of the 420. Be good if we can get to 500 and still only have the one. That'll be a, um, a nice milestone to achieve. Okay, I'll leave it there. I will be back likely next Saturday. Um, look for a post on Wednesday where I will be putting out my lay for the pros versus bookies tip. Um, they have been going pretty good. I've only missed one so far, which only won by a nose. Um, but the rest have come in and either not placed or been a long way behind the winner, um, even if they did place. So that's generally focusing on favourites. It's a lot harder to um, pick those. So just keep in mind um, that... Because they are favourites, they have a much higher chance of coming in, so you want to stake accordingly if you are following those. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, hopefully you have a good day. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.